Right here, I'll be pretty much showing you how to connect your garden hose to your kitchen or garden tap and also to the um, pressure washer. So here, I've got a McGregor anti-kink hose set. It's a 25 meter heavy duty that comes with accessories like, you know, the tap connector, the hose connector, this top hose connector and the nozzle which is what we've got sat here in the inner diameter of the garden hose just right about here the McGregor is quite sturdy and durable the NTS technology which it features gives it a no fold, no twist and anti kink advantage it's also easy to roll and unroll it's heavy duty 5 layer reinforced hose construction gives it added strength it's also suitable as a water supply hose for connecting outdoor garden taps to pressure washers. And it's compatible with all the major brands that have got 12.5 millimeter internal diameter hose pipe and their connectors. It basically comes with five accessories, the adjustable spray nozzle, the end connector, the end connector with water stop function, the three quarter BSPP, which is a British standard parallel pipe, external tap connector, the half inch to three quarter inch BSPP tap adapter, British standard parallel pipe, which implies that the, th the threading could either be straight or parallel, but can't be tapered. So I've got the hose nozzle and the hose connectors in my hand right now. So basically the thread pitch and th thread angle is the same 55 degree. The threads have a parallel profile and maintain a consistent diameter all the way down the part. And the seal in the connector is accomplished via the use of an O-ring seal or bonded washer. So basically means it's got a thread pitch or thread angle of 55 degree. And for the Mac 25 anti-king hose model, the operating pressure is a Mac 6 bar at 23 degrees centigrade. It's got a minimum 27 bar burst pressure at 23 degrees centigrade and a minus 22 plus 60 degrees centigrade outer temperature resistance. It comes with an assembly and safety instruction enclosed. In order to connect the hose connector to the garden hose, I would loosen this threaded joint. And this tap connector here would need to be screwed on to a matching tap. And this tap connector is mainly suited for garden taps with a half inch or three quarter inch BSPP male external thread. You know, the British standard parallel pipes. So here I would be securely attaching the hose connector to the garden hose but before you do that just make sure that the loosened threaded joint is slid down on the hose before you connect to the hose connector so you can tighten back the threaded joint you know onto the hose connector you know essentially after you finish sliding the hose connector onto the hose ends as far as they will go you know you'd need to tighten the, um, the threaded joints firmly so you can see here I've ensured that the threaded joint you know was slid down the hose the garden hose pipe before connecting to the hose connector. And so now that I am confident that the hose connector has slid into the hose end, um, you know, as far as it will go, then I would have to tighten the threaded joint that I slid down previously onto the hose connector. So I'll pretty much repeat the same process for the other end of the garden hose pipe, you know, where we've got the water stop hose connector. And once installed, you can connect the water stop hose connector to the water inlet of your electric car pressure washer or to the garden hose nozzle. So I've pretty much just repeated the same process, you know, for securing the garden hose onto the water stop hose connector and the hose connector. And like I said, for the hose connector end, you can screw on the tap connector. You know, stick that in, push that in, and screw it on onto your um, garden tap. But what if you don't have a garden tap, but you want to utilize your bathroom or your kitchen tap? You know, you want to connect your hose, you know, onto um, the kitchen or the bathroom tap. How do you do it? You might need an adapter. So 